Have you ever heard another professional wrestler say that there is nothing to be learned from watching the other matches on the card? I know I have, and I think it's a bit ridiculous. So how about this? Today, you and I are gonna talk about the six reasons you should always watch the rest of the show. I'm Mike Quackenbush, this is Till We Make It, and I've been fortunate throughout my career to work in front of the cameras as a professional wrestler, referee, ring announcer, and commentator. And I've worked behind the scenes too, as a promoter, booker, agent, coach, and consultant. Today, I wanna to talk about essential pieces of information that can only be gleaned by watching what else is on the show. And before we dive into that, I wanna ask if you would take a second and subscribe. And while you're down there, enable notifications too. There's a reason why everybody on YouTube says that. For some reason, that is the key ingredient that tells YouTube to recommend your videos to other people. Do I know why? No, I do not. The first of my six reasons is also probably the most obvious. It refers to the physical mechanics in the ring, the wrestling moves themselves. If the matches Prior to yours, all feature choke slams. If the audience has seen 10 choke slams before you go to the ring, the only way you're going to know that is if you have been watching the rest of the card. And if your match is set to feature a choke slam, now you have the opportunity to revise what you're doing. If every match before yours features a spot out on the apron, you'll only detect that by paying attention to what comes prior and then you have the opportunity to revise what you're doing before you walk it out on stage. The second of my six reasons is so that you can eyeball potential trouble spots. What if one of the lighting rigs has been repositioned right over top of one of the turnbuckles? You might have to reorient one of your spots so that everybody stays out of danger. Well, what if the middle rope suddenly has a lot of slack in it? Maybe it didn't when you walked the ring prior to doors opening, but a lot can change as a show progresses. That canvas might not have had a big tear in the corner two hours ago, but it does now. And if troubleshooting for these kinds of things is new to you, stay tuned till the end. I'll link you to another one of my videos. And the third of my six reasons why I think you should always watch the rest of the card whenever possible is to avoid the repetition of certain structural elements of pro wrestling. Things like jump-starting your match, working over the arm, or that back and forth strike exchange designed to make the audience alternately yay and boo the performers. In the same way that we don't want to duplicate any physical mechanics, the actual wrestling moves themselves, we don't want to repeat structural elements either. The less reminiscent your match is of the rest of the card, the more distinctly it will live in the memory of the audience when the event is over. And we all want to be memorable. And the fourth reason is that it will give you a chance to feel out the crowd. So if the audience you happen to be performing for is easily bored by chain wrestling, you will deduce that from watching the other matches on the card. And if you had planned to then go to the ring and spend half your time doing exactly that, now you've got a heads up that that kind of content may not be a good fit for this audience. It allows you the chance to course correct and it decreases the likelihood that your match will walk out there and bomb. Now this next one is key, so keep watching. Fifth, and maybe most important, by watching the rest of the card, you'll be able to determine what the show is missing. So if no one has been working the audience, you will know that from having watched the rest of the card and therein lies an opportunity. What if up to this point in time, no one has jumped off the top rope. Well, therein lies an opportunity. What if the crowd is dying for a humorous or comedic beat to lighten the tone? Well, therein lies an opportunity. And when you are attentive enough to be able to determine what it is that the show is missing, you can be the one to supply it. And this will help ensure that your match gets the best possible reaction. And sixth, among my reasons why you should always watch the rest of the card is so that you are never 
caught off guard. If there's a giant slick spot in the center of the ring all of a sudden, you will be well aware because you've been paying attention. And if the match right before yours goes home early, you won't be caught still lacing your boots. You'll know exactly what's going on with the timing of the show because you've been watching everything else as it's taking place. There is so much that can go wrong with a professional wrestling ring, from the canvas to the turnbuckles, from the ropes to the corner posts. And if you'd like some pro tips on how to troubleshoot a dangerous ring, well, click on this video right now so you can keep on learning. And if you'd like to turbocharge your pro wrestling career with more of the educational content that I make for fellow pros, follow the link to my Patreon where you're going to get access to all kinds of exclusives. And we'd love to have you as part of the community.